Hi everybody, Christina here with One Creative Direction. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning uh, viewer and uh, welcome if you're new. Um, thank you for joining me. I have a little bit different of um, a Dutch pour that I'm gonna try tonight. Uh, you know me, always trying stuff that's new and of course, you know, turn the camera on so we can all learn together. Because um, what better way to learn what not to do by watching me? Just kidding. Hopefully this turns out. I got my fingers crossed. Um, I do love to do Dutch pours, but I have not attempted this type of Dutch pour before. So I don't know if you guys have seen the, um, I, th I think I've seen it called a couple of different things, a starburst or like a tie-dye type of effect. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to attempt it on this 18 inch wood round. Um, I've already got my, um, my, my base paint down. Um, I use, I do not use Artist Loft. I use Lacrylic uh, White. It's just like the Artist Loft Flow. It is very like really soft body. Um, I switched to this. Um, if you didn't see my video on that comparison to Artist Loft White. But good news, it's my understanding that they are going back to the original formula for the 2022 lots. So hopefully I can switch back to that because I do like I do like it a lot. Um, okay, so I will go through the colors as I'm laying them down. Uh, so the plan is to put all the colors in a circular pattern and blow out. So it looks like a, they call it a starburst. I guess that's why. Um, so hopefully we get that tie-dye effect. Um, so first color I'm going to lay is my favorite, Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. Um, that's going to be first circle. Hopefully we can successfully keep it in a circle. And I have a few metallics, I think maybe one iridescent. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what color I want to go with next. And I'm doing like all pinks and purples. Uh, so this next one is going to be Deco Art Metallic Amethyst. So we're gonna put that one down next. Not very good at making circles, apparently. Uh, I think we're going to go with, I'm going to put it in one bright color. I'm going to put in this Amsterdam Reflex Rose. It's a very bright pink. Uh, I kind of wanted to, you know, lighten it up a bit. All right. And then next, I think we're going to do... I guess we'll do Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet. This is probably one of my favorite colors here. Uh, purple is definitely like my all time favorite color. Um, I do like the pinks, the purples, and the, you know, the aqua type colors. So next we're gonna do a lighter color. We're gonna do Deco Art Metallic Rose Quartz. Then I think we're going to do this Artist Loft Neon Violet. Um, that in there. Oh, that is definitely not sh shaken up enough. Not sure what's going on with my Amsterdam Violet there. Ultramarine Violet. Something's happening with it. I thought I shook all these before I started, but. Apparently I didn't shake that one enough. I mixed that last night, so. All right, and then we're going to do um, Pebeo Iridescent Violet Blue, also one of my favorite colors. And then I think we're gonna finish, I can't decide. I think I'm gonna finish with Deco Art Metallic Berry. I don't think I have any more. Oh, I do have another purple over here. I think I'm going to use this one. 
This one is uh, Liquitex Basic Stacks as a purple. There's not a lot in here, so hopefully I have enough to get around the perimeter here. There we go. I think I'm going to go back and hit this one more time. This, this color kind of disappeared here, so I'm going to try and do some more. There we go. And then the final color is going to be the Deco Art Metallic Berry. So we'll stick that on last. And that should be all we need. I am going to put just a touch of the white in the center. Or something on the end of there. I don't want that going in my center. I got some some halo going on in the center here with that metallic gold. That deco art is amazing. All right. Now I was contemplating whether or not I should use my smaller blow dryer or my larger one. I think I'm going to stick with my old trusty dryer here. All right. I think I may throw just a tad bit more around the edge just to make sure that we get coverage around the edges. I don't like bare uh, edges, especially on these rounds. You definitely want it to go all the way over the edge. I mean, if it was a canvas, then you can, you know, have the potential option to scrape the side or paint the sides, not scrape the sides, paint the sides, but it's kind of difficult to do on rounds. So I always make sure my design goes over the edge on rounds. Um, while I'm doing this, I wanted to let you guys know that I am planning to do a video this weekend. Um, it's going to be a uh, craft art fair video. Um, so I'm going to actually film it at my show this weekend and I have some things I want to show everybody. So um, it'll be a really short video. So stay tuned for that. That'll probably come out sometime next early next week. Uh, be the week of the 6th, I believe. I just want to make sure that's falling over the edge. I don't, like I said, I don't like, I don't like my edges to not be, I like to get them nice and wet to ensure that it goes over the sides. So bear with me while I do that. Alrighty. There we go. Okay. I think we're all ready for the blow dryer. Okay, here we go, guys. guys. All right, we're going to start again. All right, not too bad for my first try. Give me a second, I'll put my hair dryer down. I realized that I was blowing that out that I forgot to torch it. So I'm going to real quick like torch it uh, just in case. I didn't have any air bubbles because 
if you've watched my other videos, you know, especially for the base coat, I spread my base coat with this, which pretty much gets out all the goobers and uh, pops any air bubbles if there is any on the base coat. So, and it's basically just a back scratcher. It's a metal one. I really like it. But after I laid my colors down, I realized I probably should have torched, but I'm digging these colors. Oh my goodness gracious. I can see this. Wow. i a few air bubbles popping, so definitely needed to do this. Wow, wow, wow. That is gorgeous. All right. Let me kind of check my sides and make sure everything looks good. And then I will bring you guys in for a close up. Wow, that is so pretty. So, so pretty. All right, I've got a tiny, 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 tiny little spot right here. Let me touch that with my finger. There we go. All right, I think everything else looks great. It's amazing, like, what colors are, like, super prominent and which ones just... There's nothing. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Hopefully you guys can see. Again, I stopped the video. So it'll be a lot easier for me to do it like this. Can you guys see how gorgeous that is? Oh my goodness. I'm in love with it. Especially this area right here is super cool. I'll tell you what, that last color that I put on was the Deco Art Berry is what you see around the edge there with all those cells. And then of course the 24 karat gold and you're getting all these cells in here. I don't know, that looks obscene right there. <laughs> I don't know why those things always appear in my, in my paintings. I might have to blow a little bit on that so it doesn't look like that, but Overall, I am super happy with this. Oh my gosh, the cells are just to die for. I cannot complain for my first attempt at this type of Dutch pour. It looks amazing, guys. So that's it for today. I'll have to piece together all these videos since I got a little dropsy with my camera today. Um, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye now.